on sentries. Another spirit comes out. Big Daddy has three clarities of his own. He gets a ton of damage from those Eidolons too, so actually Elder Titan's one of the better heroes to contest. Um, Plus 28. J4 He's going to start clubbing. He has another spirit in 10 mana. Or actually, sorry. Uh, he has boost at first. Ten mana. This might be a first blood. Spirit comes through. J4 has a level 1 Malefice, and he's just going to do is a single spirit. Closing in. I think he'll take two more auto attacks. Up the hill he goes. Malefice done wearing off. One more. Big Daddy. First blood. There you go. Comes up big. He's going to lose the laning stage, which, I mean, right now it's not a huge loss, but it's going to start ramping up as Enigma free farms. That, oh, hold that thought. Simba. Okay, they're going to bring in reinforcements. They're smoking up this Invis Ruin. There's plenty of duration left. They'll hope not to get revealed, and they will succeed and making the way up the hill. This is a crucial timing right as Curl begins catch up. They look to go. They need a lift and probably into a black hole to secure this one. Oh, maybe not. Scroll, this could be very ugly for Pierre. They don't know about either of these blinks. They're going to start with the Sonic, Clips, Ditya Ron, J4 frantically scrambling to, to retreat, but doesn't look like Ditya Ron gets out here. Silence, burst down, no evasion that time at all, really. Coil only on Sonico. Then they ravage. That's three heroes taken down. They'll try for a TP out. Blinding light pushing him back. Too much burst. Uh oh, bottom lane. They've initiated here. No ravage, though. Shade got off his Yule Scepter. There was no mana on but now he gets tossed back in. They might have checked his mana pool, seen that he doesn't have it. Now they're going to chase him on the back of this. Still no Ravage. Ends up going down. A crucial miscalculation there. At the same time, they go in bottom lane. They have that Ravage still online, ready to go. Coil going to connect on Chase Show. Yule's already used. They don't even need the Ravage. As they look to retreat up, an S4 gets tossed back into the tower. Ravage will fly. He able to, he's able to survive through this. They still need that Black Hole to come through. I'm going to just, yeah, at the same time, your Rubik has managed to steal the Phase Ship. Not really the most useful oh, stone. Caught out. Midnight Pulse is there. Malefus coming through. Zap and lift. They'll toss him back. Up onto the high ground. Really nice drop there by Sonico. But I just don't know if they have the burst. They're wildly up the mark on the first Shade Shell Nuke. And then your puck from S4 comes roaring in. Sim able to bottle up on the low ground. Returns with the anchor smash. Gets the kill. Really nice movement from S4. And that's very high hopes. Our splitter coming through on the Cheshire Cat. He gets silenced top lane. Pulled right back in. He will Bloodstone deny. Same time bottom lane, there's a go here from Kuro. They'll use that blinding light of Puppy, so effective with that spell, to try and turn this one around. They have stolen the Dream Coil, it's tossed back the other way by Sonico, but it doesn't really matter when your hero is still trapped within the initiative to execute particularly well to win a fight. With the BKBs, you at least put them in slightly uncomfortable position. There's going to be a stomp mid lane, Earth Splitter following up, and they might get caught again! S4 blinking in, there's your Dream Coil, that is an Agonim's upgrade one, so Shade Shell. He's going to be stunned for a very long time if he tries to leave this, but he'll just stand his ground, look to engage. In the end, the PA does bring down the Elder Titan, but falls once more. Death number four this game after a very good start on the lane stage. They're even going to buy, buy back a Big Daddy. They want to commit for this one. At the same time, the BKB used by Cheshire Cat, but then Secret just sound the retreat. They'll back off. Net coming through again. Cheshire Cat chaining away, still looking for that black hole. Big Daddy, this could be a dieback from him. If they catch him out, Chakram comes through. Now the Ravage will fly. Connects on three. It got Sonico most importantly, so no Ravage steal available. Nice Yule's dodge from Shade Shlo. Won't really accomplish too much, though, as the Spirit continues to pursue out multiple heroes. Cheshire Cat still living, thanks to reactive armor. And then orbing forward. S4 will get one kill. He looks for a second. Puppy will claim that one first. Four dead. And now they dive the well. That's a team wipe. Not quite to the well, just to the tier fours. Secret storming back. And, well, I, storm, uh, I say storming back. They lost Big Daddy and then he fought back and they, they wiped them and GG. Power Rangers are down for the count. They now play the loser of Cloud9 versus VP Polar. Easy win for Naga. Jeez. The, the PA pigs did not fit into their game plan at all. And I, I don't know if they practiced with the hero or not. It definitely didn't seem like it, but. He has played it a handful of times, but I think they ran it in conjunction with the Wisp before. Yeah, it's it's so weak without 